the armed forces of Russia and Ukraine reported from frontline updates in the last 24 hours. The gunfight took place in some areas June 8. Russian forces, using loitering munitions, have eliminated a Ukrainian radar station of a German-made Iris T air defense complex. The Russian Defense Ministry published video footage depicting the target being wiped out on Thursday. The UAV units of the airborne forces detected the position of an Iris TSLM air defense system after which a strike with loitering munitions was delivered on the multifunctional radar station. The radar station was eliminated with a strike by an unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, a commentary to the video said. Germany delivered the first Iris TSLM system to Ukraine in October 2022. Iris T defends important facilities against cruise missiles, helicopters, jets and drones. It includes the launcher, guidance system and fire controls. The complex can operate automatically and manually. The transloader loads the missiles with infrared homing warheads in 10 minutes. The interception range varies from 1 to 40 kilometers and an altitude of 20 kilometers. The radar detects targets at a distance of 250 kilometers. During the last 24-hour period, on June 7, the Ukrainian military lost 945 personnel, 33 tanks, 28 infantry fighting vehicles, 38 armored combat vehicles, 3 crab motorized artillery systems and other armaments, said the Russian Defense Chief General Sergei Shoigu specified. The other side, the armed forces of Ukraine in an official statement June 8 said Russia lost 730 servicemen in a single day, including 18 tanks, 16 armored combat vehicles, 28 artillery units as well as 1 MLRS and 15 drones. In total, Moscow lost 212,760 servicemen since launching full-scale aggression into Ukrainian territories. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky acknowledged fiercest gunfight taking place in Donetsk Oblast. Intense battles are taking place in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk Oblast, President Zelensky said on June 8, amid reports that Ukraine's much-anticipated counteroffensive to regain territory is now underway. Zelensky also explained about Kakovka Hydroelectric in Kherson, one of the most acute problems after the Russian act of terrorism at the Kakovka Hydroelectric power plant is the supply of drinking water. Krivi-Ri, Marhanits, Nikopol, Pokrov and other cities and communities. Solutions have been prepared. The time for implementation is set, he said. Russia and Ukraine conflict has been lasting for 481 days. There is still no peace settlement between two sides. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya.